Angelina Jolie has enjoyed a successful Hollywood career for almost four decades, so naturally she's earned a sizable salary and with it, the opportunity to acquire some dazzling houses, including her most recent purchase, an elegant and well-appointed mansion in Los Angeles. Purchased in 2017 for a record price of $24.5 million, of course, the six-bedroom, ten-bathroom property has its perks too. Previously home to legendary U.S. filmmaker Cecil B. DeMille, the 2.1-acre estate in the gated community of Laughlin Park boasts panoramic views across the famous Griffith Observatory and the Pacific Ocean. By 2011, the duo reportedly spent $67 million to buy the property. The actress has a huge family for which she plans to buy a huge house. Chateau Miraville boasts a staggering 35 rooms in an estate that sits on an ancient Roman road, which cost them over $35 million. Other than this, they own a mansion in the hills of Valpolicella, Italy, that costs over $14 million. The 17th century chateau is like something out of a fairy tale, with olive groves, fountains, a private lake, a helicopter pad, and a moat. The 1,200-acre property even hosts an award-winning vineyard where the Chateau Miraville rosé wine is produced. Angelina Jolie maintains a deep connection to the Southeast Asian nation of Cambodia. Not only was her eldest son Maddox born there, but her 2017 critically lauded directional effort, First They Killed My Father, chronicle the country's dark days under the Khmer Rouge. So it's quite interesting that her latest towering turn in a fragrance commercial for Monger Law is set in the rural surroundings of Angelina Jolie's Cambodian home, according to the French company. When Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt were together, they jointly purchased a stellar 1830s French Quarter mansion in New Orleans. The historic 7,645 square foot property Property featured five bedrooms and seven bathrooms. The former couple purchased the home in 2007 for $3.5 million following Hurricane Katrina. The property boasts a grand spiral staircase, an elevator, Venetian plastered walls, marble mantles, a gourmet kitchen, and several balconies that overlook the landscape's private courtyard and small swimming pool. The actress is a mother to six children with her ex-husband Brad Pitt. When her children were young, she spent money on multiple nannies to take care of them. At one point, she was rumored to have spent over $900,000 a year on nannies. Now that her children are older, she is spending money on their education and extracurricular. The actress is obsessed with flying and also had her own pilot license since 2004. She owns a private jet that is Cirrus SR22 that costs $334,700. The plane has a number of safety features, including a parachute for itself. If the plane starts to go down, a parachute releases to slow its descent. She has also spent over a million on the helicopter. She has also invested in flying lessons for her eldest son, Maddox. Most fans didn't know that Julie was a pilot. Then in 2018, she was filmed flying over the Namibian desert for the Queen's Green Planet. The nature show was hosted by the legendary Sir David Attenborough. The Queen herself, Queen Elizabeth, also appeared in the show. Julie, in particular, was fond of gifting her husband lavish and unique presents as tokens of her love. She once gifted him a $1.6 million helicopter just because. In another instance, Julie presented Pitt with a 200-year-old olive tree. The Hydrogen 7 was launched as the world's first production-ready hydrogen vehicle. It was based on the 760LI with a modified engine that used hydrogen and petrol. Only 100 units of this car were ever produced, and Jolie's was one of the first to be delivered. She arrived at the movie premiere of Ocean's 13 in a brand new car with her then-husband Brad Pitt. This car is basically priceless, as no official price was announced, but it sure would have been more expensive than the regular 760LI. Range Rover is one of the most popular SUVs among celebrities. Angelina Jolie also owns one of these. Jolie's Vogue is fitted with a load of standard equipment, such as a panoramic glass roof, automatic lights and wipers, a heated steering wheel, leather-wrapped seats, etc. One of the favorite cars of Angelina Jolie is her Lexus LS460F. This luxury sedan features an enhanced three-dimensional mesh grille, a black grille surround, and curved fog lamps. Inside of the vehicle comes with comfortable yet sporty seats with large bolsters, paddle shifters, and genuine aluminum trim. A fine example of brilliant engineering in Angelina Jolie's garage is the Jeep Grand Cherokee. The SUV comes with the option of a 3.6-liter Pantester V6 or a 5.7-liter Hemi V8 paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission. The Cadillac ESV is another luxury SUV in Angelina's garage. The full-size 7-seat SUV offers spacious and luxurious interior, and it packs a punch with its 6.2-liter V8 engine that makes 426 horsepower. The 2018 Mercedes-Benz S450 is the vehicle whose design speaks for itself and makes the rivals feel ashamed. It comes with features like soft closed doors, air ride adaptive suspension, and other tech add-ons. Another of Jolie's favorites is her Ford Explorer. This 5-meter SUV offers a 248mm ground clearance and is powered by a 6-cylinder 3.5-liter turbocharged engine that produces up to 380 horsepower. It can do a 0-100km per hour sprint in 6 seconds. Angelina Jolie's garage has many 
outstanding cars, and Jaguar XJ is one of the best. This model has come a long way from the first production model, offering better luxury, comfort, and the signature styling of Jaguar. The cabin also speaks of luxury and comfort. The Maleficent actress is known to give back to society. She's a philanthropist who is known to donate to different charities. In the year 2006, the actress along with her husband donated over $8 million to different charities. What is your opinion about the millionaire lifestyle of Angelina Jolie? This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Bye!